Congress also it's a huge loss as far as Andhra Pradesh is concerned because there is really no other tall leader within the Congress party in Andhra Pradesh and they really will have to, uh, they will find it extremely difficult to fill in this vacuum, not just uh, in choosing the next leader of the CLP and the next chief minister, but even in terms of someone who can actually reach out to the people of Andhra Pradesh, cutting across uh, caste and um, um, uh, community lines. Vaisar was one person who was able to reach out. They really need to um, uh, find the next leader who would be able to do um, much the same for the Congress party here in Andhra Pradesh. Vishal? And Sudhir, uh, as we see that casket bringing the body uh, of uh, Raj Shikhar Reddy in Hyderabad, just the process of bringing that down to Hyderabad from Kandul was very, very difficult. Uh, getting it from uh, the crash site to Kandul was extremely difficult because it is impossible to land a helicopter there. Yes, in fact, when I was speaking to Rajiv uh, Trivedi in the morning, he was the, he's the IG of the Andhra Pradesh Special Police Force and also the coordinating officer looking after the entire operations. I spoke to him at 8 in the morning and he was very clear that they have time till sunset and if nothing comes on till sunset, uh, it's going to be extremely difficult and there were also very worrying reports coming of some kind of oil spill uh, being uh, seen in some kind of water bodies that was reported in some vernacular dailies this morning as also some local TV channels and thereafter 21 years units of the uh, Greyhounds commandos were sent inside the forest as also the Navy was asked to patrol all the river bodies flowing in from Mehbub Nagar into Karnul district and also the seven choppers which are present to service very early in the morning dividing the entire 225 square kilometers area which they had zeroed in where YSR's chopper could have gone missing and that's when they located this hillock where the chopper had crash landed to found in an extremely mangled state and that's when uh, the police officers started uh, uh, admitting in private that the worst fears could have come true if it had indeed crash landed and hit a hillock the chances of uh, any of the five passengers surviving would be extremely remote and the and and, and the tragic news was announced a little a little in the afternoon but yes uh, going inside food given the fact that it has been raining very heavily in Karnul district as it has been in most parts of Ral Sima region making it very difficult for the petrol parties to reach that spot by foot uh, making it almost um, um, uh, important essential that it had to be an aerial search and rescue operation uh, and also there also the dense forest area making it difficult for them to spot um, the mangled remains of the chopper. Vishnu? All right, Sudhi, thanks very much for joining us uh, with those details. We'll come back to you in a little while from now. Uh, Radhika here joins us at this stage. Radhika, where exactly are you now in Hyderabad? Give us an idea of what's happening around you. About 50 meters away from where the body of uh, the erstwhile Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh is kept, Dr. Rajshekhar Reddy, uh, uh, Reddy's body, who was just brought in uh, to the camp office. And I'm right outside where you can see thousands of uh, party workers, supporters who've traveled from nearby districts, who've traveled from uh, uh, the outskirts of the city, just here to pay uh, the, their last respects. Uh, uh, where are you from? Uh, I came from Karnul Street, from Rajshekhar Reddy, from Rajshima. He has done so many. He has done he has introduced so many welfare schemes for the poor people of Andhra Pradesh. At the same time, he has done so many schemes for the student of BC and welfare. He recently, he has introduced a scheme for the people, uh, students who joined the uh, new courses like MBA and MCA. Uh, he can provide the reimbursement of peace. The BC students are the poor students. The persons who has the less than the income of one, like the people getting the... Right. What did he mean to you? Does it, uh, does it mean a huge loss to uh, Andhra Pradesh? What did he mean to you as a leader? Uh, right now, Vice Vice Reddy has done so many schemes for Andhra uh, uh, Pradesh. Uh, present situation, Andhra Pradesh is the last, uh, one of the greatest leader and believe leader Vice Vice Reddy will miss right now. So nobody can subdue the position of ISR right now as now. We are waiting for the leader of next coming. Uh, we are waiting right now the position who will be the subdue for ISR. I feel I hope right now I am the hope to Vice uh, Jagan Monadi. I want to become the Vice Jagan Monadi will be the uh, Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh from Let's coming days. Right, from, from, from different cross sections indeed people coming out. We saw women coming out. We saw senior citizens coming out. Youth uh, coming out and saying that uh, the Chief Minister had done a great Deal. A lot of ministers, senior ministers who are within the who are inside uh, the camp office right now, his residence right now. Uh, some of them even mentioning that uh, uh, they would perhaps suggest to uh, the senior leadership that uh, Jagan Mohan Reddy, the MP from Kadapa, should be really uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, sort of uh, made be made the chief minister. We did see the swearing in uh, ceremony, a very simple uh, swearing in ceremony of uh, the finance minister, uh, Mr. K. Rosaya, as they.
the chief minister now, but that doesn't mean really that uh, the, the 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 succession battle will uh, will put will be will come to an end. Really, we perhaps could see a lot more of political action, not just within the family, but within the political party as well, because Raj Shikhar Reddy was indeed the face of the Congress Party in Andhra Pradesh. Vishnu. Fred Radhika, we will come back uh, to you again. Uh, that's the cas casket of. Um Rajik Reddy, which has now been brought down uh, to Hyderabad. It took several hours for the casket uh, for his body to actually make it to Hyderabad. It was very difficult to retrieve along with the other bodies uh, of the victims on board that helicopter which was detected this morning 24 hours, almost 24 hours after it went down. These are some of the first visuals which we can bring you of the wreckage site itself. Let's just stay with these pictures. And uh, what we'd earlier been told is just the tail of the aircraft was, uh, uh, was easy to identify the aircraft slammed into the top of that hillside. There was very, very little else uh, to actually uh, make it out to be the wreckage of uh, a helicopter. Uh, the, uh, the impact was uh, substantial. Uh, the electronic uh, transmitter on board, uh, the helicopter which is supposed to send out uh, a distress uh, uh, signal, uh, that uh, system didn't work. Uh, it's supposed to send out a, a distress signal to satellites overhead. That didn't work at all. Lots of questions will be raised about why that didn't happen. Uh, but these are some of the only pictures that we are getting of the crash site. As you can see, uh, again, these are relative close-ups, but it is a very, very heavily wooded area, um, heavily forested area. It was impossible to actually land uh, over there. And uh, this is all uh, that we ha are getting at this juncture. Just the tail of that helicopter is easy to identify over there. Uh, Three of the bodies, uh, all of the bodies, in fact, we're told had uh, had been flung out of the uh, out of the aircraft, uh, and uh, it took uh, time actually to retrieve all five bodies before they could be taken to a lower height from where uh, they could be actually flown to Kandu and then on to Hyderabad. Well, we were speaking about uh, Mr. Rosaya. He's the 70-year-old uh, finance minister of the state, the acting chief minister now. He's number two in the state cabinet. He was leader of the opposition in the Andhra Pradesh Legislative Council twice and took charge of the portfolio of finance planning and legislative affairs this year. He began his career in 1968 when he was elected to the Aspire Legislative Council. <laughs> It's a great loss to me personally and to all my colleagues in the cabinet headed by Raj Sekhredi Garu. Crazy wise, he is much younger to me. But I am not able to digest. All right, uh, just in uh, case uh, you have joined us at this juncture, the, the casket of uh, Raj Shekhar the Chief Minister of uh, Andhra Pradesh, has been brought back uh, to Hyderabad. That's what you see on your screens right now. We are also getting the first footage, the first pictures of, from that crash site. And what we are told is that the aircraft was uh, completely destroyed uh, to, uh, and completely charred on impact with that hillside near Kandul. It's just the tail of the aircraft which uh, can be recognized quite easily. The rest of the aircraft, the rest of the helicopter, not be easily recognized. It took a great deal of time for the bodies of all the victims to be taken to a lower area uh, and then from there they were flown to Kandul where a post-mortem was conducted and then they've been sent across uh, to Hyderabad. Uh, there will be